Hey everybody, Coach Cliff. All right, so the big question that I get always in about week two, probably three for sure week four, is how do I get off this plateau, a plateau? Now, I want you to understand one thing that's really important is that every single person plateaus who's trying to change their body. So an athlete who's trying to change their performance and get faster, a bodybuilder who's trying to get bigger, a person who's trying to lose weight and get smaller, right? Anytime you try to change your body in any way at all, you're gonna plateau because what you did to get you there isn't gonna continue to work. It doesn't mean that it won't work in the future. It just means right now, you've gotten to all you're gonna get out of that. So what do you do? It's really simple. So there's three things I'm gonna give you. Take note of these, you'll memorize these, and then start doing these in different times and different forms and like I'll explain. Okay, so number one is take a two week break. That doesn't mean a two week break and eat whatever you wanna do, but if you're doing intermittent fasting, and I highly, highly recommend that you do. So let's say you're doing intermittent fasting, or let's say you're not, but let's say you're in intermittent fasting, you're on an eight hour feeding window, or six hour, whatever it is. Go backwards, backwards is forward sometimes, to a 12-12. So eat for 12 hours, and then take 12 hours off. So here's what it did. The Journal of Obesity, many years ago, did a study on intermittent fasting, and they took two groups of people. One group um, was on 12 hours, and 12 hours, I'm sorry, they were on eight hours straight through for 30 weeks. It's a long time. And then the other group was on that for two weeks, eight hour window for two weeks. And then they went to a 12-12 for two weeks. At the end of the 30 weeks, the group that was cycling through 12-12 and then eight, what is it, 16, that group that cycled lost 30 pounds of fat, which isn't a ton. We, we do better than that, right? But they lost 30 pounds. And the group that just did eight hours straight through only lost nine pounds of fat. So huge difference in that amount. Cycling is really important. You probably heard of that. Carb cycling, fat cycling, there's all different kinds of cycles. But it's like our body cycles and only when we cycle like against it, your body's homeostasis will change, right? So homeostasis is that word that you learned in fifth grade science probably that means that the body adapts or changes in order to stay the same. So if you're cold, you are cold, so you shiver, you change to warm yourself up. When you're hot, you sweat, you change, and then you keep yourself cooler. So the body is constantly, 24 hours a day, going through homeostasis. It's changing in order to stay the same. Our body's beautiful like that. So when you, if you keep keeping it the same, your body's gonna go, okay, we're here, we're gonna stay there. So you have to push against that homeostasis sometimes in just a simple change like that. Okay, let's, let's say you're not intermittent fasting. Now's the time to do it. Intermittent fasting, if you are um, past your two weeks in this challenge, you've gotten a video that explains intermittent fasting. Because I know that people don't plateau in the first two weeks. If they haven't gotten results in the first, first two weeks, they're probably doing something wrong with the eating and they're okay. So if you haven't gotten there, if you want, I'll, I'll get you that um, video a little quicker. If, if you're in your first week and you're like, I wanna start doing it, that's fine. I just didn't wanna overcomplicate things, which is why I leave it for the second week. Okay, so that's the first thing to do. Does that make sense? So switch the intermittent fasting from a six or an eight hour window to a 12-12. Seems like we're going backwards. We gotta knock against that homeostasis in order to go forward. Trust me on this, I've done it, it works. The second thing is, okay, so two weeks, at least one day, let's start with one day, one day of a, of a bulk, a bulking feeding program. And that's probably not the best choice of words because nobody wants to bulk, right? But guys do, but, so here's what you do is you eat more a lot for a day. Now, here's what I recommend, let me go back. Research shows that two weeks of a bulking diet will really kick you off of your plateau. But we go, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get fat. So if you wanna take a longer period of time and then what you do is go on keto. So keto being, and I'm not saying that keto is healthy long-term. Probably all of you have done keto at some point. It's very effective for at least a period of time. But you can go on a keto diet, which is like 70 to 75% fat. It's a lot in there and a decent amount, a medium amount of protein and then very, very low carbs. So if you're gonna do it, it's better at least, kinda of like what we're doing anyway, just keep those carbs low, all right? So that's what you should do. Now, I'm gonna look at the research on here. Well, what that does is it increases fatty, fatty acid oxidation, meaning the burning of fats. So when you go higher, your body will begin, become more adapt again, homeostasis changing in order to stay the same. It will get good again at burning fats because you're just giving it more and more food so become good at that. And then when you go back down, your body's good for at least another few weeks of burning that fat. So that's why we do it. So here's what I've, I've done in the past with people who were on a plateau for like two or three weeks and their calories were like at 1200, so fairly low, right? And it's like, we're not gonna go lower in the calories. We're just not gonna do that. So what we would do is do one day, and you can start with one day and see if it does it, of um, eating, a higher amount of eating, like eat as much as you can and you can go keto. Now I have done this before 
where we go high carb, and I'm gonna confuse you, high carb, make sure it's low fat. Because anytime we add carb and fat together, that will be stored as fat really quickly. So what would it be? Spaghetti with a lean red sauce, right? So keep the fats down, keep the red sauce. So higher um, carbs and keep the, the fats down in that. We've done that before too, but here's what I'd recommend is go for a day or two of a keto type diet, higher fat, higher protein, and then keep the carbs as low as you possibly can. Do that first for two days and then get back off and see if the next few days things start changing. They usually will. If not, then we can go on a two week and we go a little bit longer. So I know you have six weeks. It's a short amount of time. That's why I want to do two days with you and then we can get back off and get some results. So either way, a lot of different things in there, but just like that, it's just like the first one I gave you of the intermittent fasting and cycling, this is a cycle too where we get off it and we, and we change the homeostasis. Okay, so here's the third thing is shift your workout timing. Now, for a lot of you, 5.30 in the morning is the only time you can do it, and I get that. And for some of you that come in the afternoon or the evening, that's the only time you can do it. But I just want to put this out there because this is a third thing that does work. So if you're used to working out at a certain time of day, whatever time it is, and then you shift and do it at a different time. So let's say you're intermittent fasting and instead of 5.30 in the morning, you do it at noon right before you break your fast. So you're still in a fasted state, but you do it right before you break your fast, your workout's not gonna be as good as it is in 5.30 because you're getting pretty weak without the food. But if you shifted it to there and then your next meal was your post-workout shake or whatever you put in there, that's effective. Or do it at the end of your eating phase, so it's seven o'clock at night or whatever. And what does that look like? Well, it's just, it's a workout, right? So it's a workout like we do in the morning so if you came later so that doesn't work for everybody but that does work and that's a way a lot of times we'll kick people off of it is to do that so for you those of you that are working out two times a day and some of you are then just keep doing that you're doing the right thing um i wouldn't suggest skipping the morning if you're doing that and only have in the evening if you're working out twice a day then you're already doing that part right there there was something else i was going to share with you and i can't remember um but anyway what all this does is it puts your body back into a state oh REE, resting energy expenditure. So fascinating study looking at people that did cycle on and off. So resting energy, REE means the amount of calories or heat energy that you're using when you sit on the couch at night and do nothing. So at rest, how many calories are you burning? There's a lot of research that looked at that, tons of research that look at people in different states and when you get, when you're on a diet or your calories are low, your REE is gonna be lower. You're gonna be just burning less. You're gonna be, you're gonna be colder. You're gonna be less warm. You're gonna have lot less heat energy burning. So what that does is it increases that REE, sets your body to burn more calories, and then when you lower the calories, this REE takes a little while to follow it before it comes back down again. So how long? It depends on how many calories you are or are not eating, depends on your age, depends on your activity level, depends on a lot of things, but just know that it lasts for a while longer so you can, you can have that chase you and give you that part where you're gonna lose weight right in there. So Doing the same thing every single day over the course of a year doesn't work. We have to cycle things. So there's three ways to do it from the 12 hour fast, the intermittent fasting, go from an eight or six hour window to a 12 hour window and do that for two weeks. Or then, what was the third thing? I'm looking here, oh, bulk. So eat a lot of food. The other thing too is that bulking, when we do that, it increases leptin, which is the hormone that kicks off fat burning. So um, lots of positive changes happen in your body, all having to do with homeostasis. So bulk for a couple of days, High carb, low fat, but let's start with keto first. Let's go high um, fat, high protein for a couple days and then go back and see what that does and then change your workout timing if you can. Those are the three things that always, always, always work. Don't get frustrated, it just means your body's doing what you're telling it to do. You told it to lower the calories and cool down, so it's doing that and now it's just kind of sitting there. So three things you can do starting today to kick yourself off. It might take a couple days to start kicking again, but you can kick it pretty quick. Pretty quick. Hope that helps.